So, in times of corona, things may be hard. Things may be really hard to the point where that I, um, I'm running low on records. Well, this is not the dimensions of a record, and I don't feel like going to 45s yet. I've been up for 38 hours, and I've just been playing, uh, doing stuff with Greg for a while. So, I figure it's time to get a, uh, a certain image having to do with a certain person that hasn't been shown to the public since it was planned to back in 1932. So, let's just open this up before I completely change accents into a full-on Texan. I have to do this one-handedly. Oh yeah, and by this, I'm, I, I know the comment's probably going to come up, just jokingly or whatever, that I'm ripping off uh, all my 78s UK. Uh, well, before you make this comment, before you make that comment, just uh, edit it and add more swear words to it. I don't, I don't really care that much anymore. There we go. This will definitely be in the book. Just gonna slide this on out if I can. If I can't, that's fine too. Ah, yep. Came out of the fold too. Let's see what this thing looks like. Yep, there's the back of it. Just as advertised. I'll let you uh, let you see the back in full for. Um, but first, let me just some context behind this. This was meant to be shot like this was meant to be in the papers, but um, event involving a certain person happened beforehand. That um that made it so this couldn't happen. Yep, this is just this is just how I bought it for like ten bucks. This is a fake wedding. Oh no, no, jeez, no, not fake wedding, fake funeral of Will Osborne being the coroner and Rudy Valley being the uh, the the uh, the dead body. It was basically crooning being over. Um. Basically, Osborne Valley and a couple others just said, "Well, crooning is over." Now, what that what they really meant by that is that they're just gonna stop stop referring to it as crooning, um, and just still doing the same thing. So, this was planned to be put in newspapers all over the place, but then, well, Will had his own certain problem um, that came out a few days later that will not be talked about here, but. Um, so yeah, this is uh, a couple other crooners, some lesser known crooners are in here as well. I don't know their names off the top of my head, but I do know that there are others in here. Maybe you guys can recognize them in here, but yeah, here they are. This is, I believe, is sometime in 1932 or 1931. Yep. Um, October 27th, 1932. This was, I believe it was... How about I just let you read this then? This is supposed to be, that was for, um, this is supposed to be up for the actual paper, the newspaper itself, but they never got it that far. The crooner is dead. While quite a number of the New York population silently and thankfully bowed their heads in prayer, the crooner was buried at high noon on October 21st. With Will Osborne, the original crooning, acting as acting as minister. Radio editors acting as pallbearers in the pauper's funeral. And Osborne climaxed the ceremonies by taking a pledge never to croon again. A pledge which is hope will be adopted by other members of the profession above the photo shows the minister Osborne officiating as the body is taken from the hearse to be placed in the cold, cold ground. Credit line Acme 102132. As for this other stuff, I'm probably going to take off this, this uh, little dating thing here, but 
This never made it to any newspaper anywhere. The body is clearly Rudy Valley. No other crooner, or anyone of significance for that matter, with that same curly hair and same pointy nose would be there. I don't know if I'm going to display this next to the regular picture or if I'm gonna or if I'm just gonna put it to my private collection. But uh, by the way, yeah, this is um this is a good find. I don't usually do this stuff. I don't even really do a series out of this stuff, but yeah, pretty good. I'll see you guys either later or in the next video.